Hello everyone, so I'm creating this video to present our Carnivore 2 cartridge I've been working uh, recently. Um, so this is, um, uh, let me switch over to my over camera over here. So this is um, a project from um, a group uh, out of Russia called RS RBSC. So uh, they, uh, they're called Russian uh, Bear uh, Service Crew. Um, and it's an expansion cartridge for uh, the whole MSX line that basically implements a lot of features. Uh, not only the ability to load software from the CF card, uh, but also implements additional hardware to your MSX. So I'll open it uh, over here. So this is a 3D uh, uh, case for the cartridge. Um, so and uh, the cartridge is based on the Altera FPGA, right? So it's a Cyclone 2 Altera. So it is already outdated. I mean, uh, it's not manufactured anymore, but you can easily find this one um, uh, using AliExpress uh, or eBay, right? And it also has a, a flash memory, a 8 megabyte flash memory that you can basically use to load files, load ROM files to the cartridge. And then um, uh, quickly run those uh, on your MSX. In the other side, I do have also um, uh, uh, SRAM memory chip. Uh, so this is a two megabyte that you can basically uh, configure as one megabyte um, uh, RAM mapper. And also uh, a pseudo uh, mega run of uh, 720K. Um, so it also has, uh, of course, the CF slot over here. So you can uh, basically include your CF cards. And he has, you know, uh, some uh, circuitry over here around uh, Yamaha chip. So it implements as well as the, the FM pack, uh, CC, SCC plus, and an additional PSG, right? So, and this is super cool. So you can basically have, you know, uh, games that leverage dual PSG uh, being, uh, you know, uh, uh, using this cartridge, right? So uh, it's a super cool uh, project by our, our BSC. So it's an open source project. So, I mean, uh, you can, uh, of course, download the Gerber's um, uh, manufacture your PCB. And uh, by the way, so this is a PCB created by PCB way on the uh, gold plates and, um, and everything. So just to make sure that we have good contacts when using on MSX. So let me uh, just uh, present a few features of the cartridge so you can um, if you decide to build one for yourself or buy one of those so you can uh, use it on your MSX. So this is my uh, uh, MSX over here. So this is um, one cheap MSX. So let me just, you know, first, of course, so present, just show to you so that I have uh, my, my cartridge over here. So I have a, a camera here. So this is my OCM MSX. So it's also based on a Cyclone. Um, I'll be, you know, creating a video in the future about this uh, implementation over here. So I have a, a expansion over here, so where I, I can have two cartridges, and I have the, my Carnivore two and uh, and this expansion over here, right? So and I'm also using a audio cable that it's going to my capture card over there, um, and so this is just to demonstrate some of the audio features I have with this cartridge as well, right? So. Um, and it's connected to my uh, capture card, so you can uh, just see the screen over here. So um, I configured the volume over here just to be, you know, uh, a bit low, just so uh, you guys can uh, hear what I'm saying. But uh, the first thing that I'm going to present with the, the uh, cartridge, so it's uh, when you, of course, you turn on your MSX and you see your uh, uh, this screen, so you can see a list of uh, uh, files that you already loaded to your flash card, so flash memory, right? So, and I have uh, two mini ROMs uh, programs over here. So I have Galaga and Ping Pong. So, and I also have a default configuration that, you know, if I just use this configuration, my MSX is going to boot with additional run uh, by, plus the ID, uh, uh, drivers uh, to, of course, read my files that I have on the CF card and I uh, also have the FM pack and the SEC, right? So uh, you can uh, change that configuration. So if you want, so you basically uh, hit enter and then you go over here uh, and then you can change uh, for whatever you want. So uh, I mean, let's say I want to have uh, uh, the 
uh, uh, CC plus, I believe. So I believe that I can just go you know, over here and then go back over here and then uh, start with the SEC plus. So you can change that configuration or just start as a normal cartridge out the sub slot zero with ping pong, for example, or any other software that you have uh, on the uh, the flash round, right? Uh, so uh, the first thing that I'm gonna show you is that if I decide to actually, you know, include an additional uh, entry over here. So if I just, you know, go here and then uh, uh, run Galaga, it's gonna run uh, super quick, right? So if I go this, uh, you know, right away, so I have Galaga, right? So if I just reboot and then go back to the uh, MSX, uh, again so I just hit reset over there so I have the menu again right so let me turn off the music over here just to be you know easier to hear me and what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to just hit ask and then it's going to uh, run the ID drivers and then uh, load my CF card and so what I have over here so I have a bunch of files on my uh, my CF card so including software right so what I, and also the R, RBSC uh, folder over there has the uh, the tools that I need to configure the, the cartridge, right? So what I'm gonna do first is that I'm going to software over here and then um, uh, inside software, I believe I have games. So yeah, I have MSX1 games. So uh, I'm going to CD MSX1 and then I, I believe I have folders uh, with letters um, and that is good. So let's go to the DH over here, and I'm going to load um, Hero to the uh, Flash Run, right? So what I'm going to do now is that um, I'm going to reference the RBSC folder over here, and then uh, use the C2Man uh, file over here. So um, and this, when I run the C2Man, so it's going to detect my my cartridge and you know it does uh, some operation on the run and now i have the menu right so here if i hit number nine so i have all the service menu for the cartridge so i can update the firmware i can update the boot the boot menu uh, firmware as well i can update the id drivers at whatever i need to uh, you know service the cartridge but i'm interested in to just write a wrong image into the flash so I'm going to hit one and then I'm going to select a file. So let's uh, just go here and uh, search for a specific uh, file over here. So I want, uh, let's say, uh, F, uh, uh, yeah, let's say, uh, I would like to have a hero over here, but you know, I thought it was okay. We no, hero, hero dot. So I'll hit enter and enter again. Yes. And now it's going to load into the, my flash run. So I'll, I'm going to hit four now and restart my computer. And, and now it's going to uh, boot MSX. And then I have hero on number three over here. So if I want to run hero directly from the flash run, I just need to uh, hit space over here. And then I have, uh, Oh, sorry, I just, you know, I did some, yeah, now I have here, right? So I can play it. So let me just reset over here. So, but this is just, you know, a way to load the ROM files into the flash round and then have those files executing super quickly, right? But, uh, you know, I, of course I can have the default experience I have with any SD mapper or um, any, uh, uh, drive emulation device I have for the MSX, I can also do that. So if I go back to the, uh, just hit ask, and then I'm, I'm in the MSX DOS, I can just go SR8, SR, and run software run, uh, and then um, I can use software run over here to run whatever files I have on my, uh, my CF card. Right, so I just hit enter and then I can say, you know, I want to run Arcanite. So I just hit enter and start and and I have Arcanite uh, being executed, right? So just by, by software run. So I have Arcanite. So uh, 
So you saw two features, right? So basically uh, the ability to copy rounds into the flash uh, chip on the cartridge. And I also have a way to just, you know, go to the MSX DOS and run things with the with sofa run, right? So uh, if I just hit space on this first thing over here, so I'm going to run uh, MSX DOS with uh, run ID, FM pack and SEC, right? But uh, the feature that, you know, I believe it's super cool I want to demonstrate, it's actually uh, the ability to have dual PSG, right? So if I just hit P over here, so uh, I can uh, configure the PSG and the dual PSG. But before I configure that, I'm going to show uh, how the sound, uh, you know, how the, the uh, music with without the dual PSG sounds and then I will enable the dual PSG and show you what happens, right? So let's go to the MSX DOS again uh, and then I'm going to um, a specific software I have over here inside the software folder. So I have the VGM play so the I will uh, enter that folder as well, VGM play. And this is a, a you know a music player, right? So and I have you know a few VGZ files over here, uh, and this is those are specific VGZ files that leverage the dual PSG thing. But I'm going to run uh, that music over here, so the number two without the dual PSG enable on the cartridge, right? And let me just run this thing over here, and then I will uh, increase the volume so you can hear that. Okay, so this is how the music sounds, you know, even, you know, mentioning dual PSG over here. So it's not using it because the, the, the second PSG is, that is not actually enabled, right? So if I just hit uh, Ctrl C and then restart my MSX. So I can now uh, go back to the uh, menu of the, the cartridge and then I'm going to hit P again and then uh, start uh, the dual PSG, right? So I have to hit space and then top. Now I have the PSG and the dual PSG enabled, right? So I'm going to hit ask and then uh, go back to the DOS over here, the MS, MSX DOS. Uh, new configuration apply, so that's great. Uh, and now I can go to the same uh, folder over there. So it's uh, CD software uh, VG and play, and then I'm going to say uh, VG uh, and play 02. And now it's gonna use the dual PSG, right? So let's see how that how that works. Much better, right? So let me just hit Ctrl C and then uh, go back to uh, the camera over here just to finish. So this is um, this is the Carnivore 2 cartridge, so it's a super quick uh, introduction on the cartridge, so I hope you guys enjoy that video.